That should work. Oh, well, I'm minus Fox, right? So they get him to Fox. We have my brother, Cerberus. And we just finished watching Hardcore Henry. Hopefully, you guys can hear us. Probably shouldn't tell test of this beforehand, but. Yeah. Probably. But that's okay. Speak loud enough. Yeah. But, um. So we just finished watching Hardcore Henry. What did you think of it? It was awesome. It really was. It. It's basically, I wouldn't say it's found footage, because it's not really, because found footage is camera-wise, all done first-person style, and it's really good. It also has the guy from freaking District 9. Yeah. Which was freaking awesome. He's hilarious. He really is. This is like a dark comedy, but it's just so good. Mm. Like, this is something I would want to play as a game. Yeah, we definitely want to play more of a game than, like, watch a movie. Yeah, but still, it was still a good movie. I thought it was. Especially, like, the ending with, like, with the guy from District 9 and everything. It was better than Bad v Superman. The, yeah, better than Batman v Superman. The twists were pretty good. Mm -hmm. The ending. Um, his tattoo was awesome. I like the tattoo twist. Though, Cerberus says that he's seen one part online before. It was just, it was a really good movie. It really was. Really fun. And definitely check it out. I got yeah. a little dizzy. <laughs> High self or ego? Mm -hmm. High self or ego? <laughs> uh, but it was really good. It has some good twists. It has a lot of what the fudge moments, especially with the dude from District 9. Yeah, I thought there was like time traveling in it or something. I don't know how the heck you jump. You see him twice, spoiler, it's kind of, you see him twice, and you're like, time travel. He's like, really? I'm thinking clones. Well, maybe he kept warning himself that he was going to die, and just kept returning back. Why are you spraying that now? I don't know, it just tastes good. You don't brush your teeth anyway. I do, shut up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was a really good movie. I would definitely say check it out. We got it off, we got, we we'll watched it off a red box. Red box. I doubt it's in theaters anymore. If it no, is, it, that, it, that would have been cool to see in theaters. Yeah, though, mind you, you will get some. Some people will get nauseated. Yeah, I had to stop for a second. Yeah, you will get dizzy, but it is really fun. Um, it feels like the graphics. Like you can see the graphics. Like this feels like something that like would have popped up on the internet uh -huh. a little it's like bit. Those YouTube videos. Yeah, like sometimes like I kind of kind of saw. Them. Yeah. Sometimes you can kind of see a little bit through the CG. <laughs> it was my hands, people. Cinema magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a really good movie. I'd definitely say check it out. And it was that. It's a good movie. It really was. It's basically if you did to call, if you took Call of Duty, mix it with Assassin's Creed, and actually it's a lot like Call of Duty. It is like a lot like Call of Duty. Especially with the whole, this is Call of Duty now with like the robots and stuff. No, it's a little bit of Terminator. I thought it was cool how he took the barbed wire and it was just like... Oh yeah. I love, I love, I love when he stabs adrenaline into him. Yeah, and suddenly it switches to that song. I reach for the stars. Where the fuck it goes? Gosh dang it, that was funny. It's very, it has a lot of funny moments. Yeah, it's definitely checking out on Redbox. Oh, um, what I said I love was Henry never talks about any of this movie, but you got his personality, and you go, he's got like, like, like just hand gestures like, <laughs> or we just flip people off. Yeah. I was just like, it's a good movie. Yeah. It really was. Henry was hilarious. Even though he was a silent protagonist, he still had a personality behind him, which I love. Yeah, it's really good. Definitely check it out. And else that after that? See you on the other side. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs>